Welcome today on the meeting. It won't be a lecture. And I have a, a huge question to you. So you could take an active role during that meeting. At the very beginning, I would like you to think about yourself in a certain categories. Who am I? how I would describe myself. When I'm speaking about myself, I can define myself as a psychologist. Sometimes I'm a, a retired director, psychotherapist. These are descriptions. I would like to think this through. How do you think about yourself, your role? But I can define myself also. Daughter, wife, mother, grandmother, aunt, cousin. This is a second home. And I can introduce myself as a friend, as a colleague. This is a third house. It's very important when we stop speaking about occupational burnout. Because when we know when and where is the fire, where we know when, where can we hide. First of all, there are three main sections in which it's visible. First, this emotional exhaustion. It is as we are having emotional and personal exhaustion, which is refers to a person's feeling that I am very overburdened emotionally. And the second field is depersonalization. When you are a teacher and you're stuck in seeing numbers uh, in the classroom, first B, but D, and you don't see a person. And you should have more subject seeing of uh, colleagues, students, and you stop to feel the part of the team. And in a certain moment, you cut the emotional skills. And this is also the way of protecting yourself. And the third here, it is a certain feeling that I, I don't count at all, I won't achieve anything, I will not achieve anything in my life. And the truth is that part of burnouts are coming to our life not just once. When, when I was looking for data about burnout, I wrote the book, I was teaching students, all the time um, working because the change doesn't need to mean to leave a place you work in. Because certain hard situations 
jak przyszedł z kagankiem oświaty, that you that you carrying a light in your hand, and you want to share it with someone, but there is no one to whom you can give it. And very often it seems like want to give the promotion to the contract teacher and you had a very uh, engaged supervisor, it happens sometimes. That you cannot get that position because the paperwork is killing. And then very important is no, do you have the second, the third, and the fourth house? Those places in which you can rest. That burnout is not connected with your professional fields. It happens that you spend a lot of time at work. And these are fields in which you can grow. And the next professional burnout comes when and zarządzający wydają polecenia, nie licząc się konkretnie z tym, gdyby co ma robione, zostać jak gdyby. When the director gives the permission or the rules, then doesn't count what and when should be done. The situation, then we will suppose calculate um, or how much papers are we using and make a test for kids. And that was the first time in my life uh, I've asked the bookmaker for creative work. And today, I would say no to the command I have received. Mm. Then I was thinking why I agreed to be the director of the place. And now I think when we are considering teacher who's got his own idea about work with kids, and I'm not talking about school criteria of green people, final mark. My colleagues are telling me I would like to develop passions of my kids, but then they won't be able to give the proper the key answer at the end. And also, that might be a reason of the burnout. Once a teacher got a class, and to that class were not sufficient amount of students, and Instead of being happy of the effect of the final note, Na to, żeby oni wygrali olimpiadę. On teraz pracuje na to, żeby wygrali swoje życie. On teraz pracuje na to, żeby wygrali swoje życie. The teacher was working not for the best marks and uh, getting medal in uh, the school trophy, but they were fighting for living with life. And we are not taught in a way. We are taught that we are 
not supposed to discuss with authorities. If some of you would like to check, are you threat for occupational burnout? There is a test. Today, there won't be any presentations because this you need to make on your own. Each of you can think then what to do with the result of the test. What are the signals? When should I really take care of that? Part of the indicators you can have not having the professional journal. Um, of the, the signal um, of the reluctance uh, of containing the going to work. On the beginning, we don't feel the need to do something. We constantly feel the lack of willingness to do something. We feel irritation, negation, and uh, we are aware. Uh, alert um, very often uh, sicknesses, infections. Because I should uh, go on my own um, workaholic therapy, I break my leg. It happens two or three times, but then we cannot go to work. When there is coming a lot of illness, we didn't have that before, it means the signal from your body stop, change something in your life. At the beginning, uh, burnout, we are starting to be very polite. This is all important signal. Just in case we're uh, not taking the voice, then there's common irritation, anger against the person. And decreasing likeness. It's coming for a sense of guilt that we need to behave differently. Someone was a good teacher and in some moment started to scream. And it happened that he shaped student. And for a hundred percent, I know it's a professional burnout or he's in his own trauma. Let's remember that there is a possibility time for a health support holiday for teachers. Because it's important to take care of yourself being a teacher. Because when we do not control emotions which are getting out from us, it's important to take care about yourself uh, longer. Two or three days doesn't give you the time. Uh, when it comes the feeling that you can not decide anything and nothing will change in your life. And where is the moment when your family and friends can help you? But maybe you should also consider, shouldn't talk with a specialist. Perhaps 
if you're on a moment that you're worthless person and any other person would work better and you stop be engaged in your work or whatever you do. This is the moment you should consider that because this is the moment when depression starts to show. I like the point especially. If sex doesn't give you the pleasure, you consider that as a burden and obligation, and surely uh, you have a professional burnout or a relationship one, but I don't know, uh, I do not work with couples. Perhaps, maybe. For some people, it will be a personal development. Professional is uh, supported uh, in accurate information uh, what and how it should be done. If you teacher, um, there is a chance and they want to give you additional students in a or graduation class. If they will add you kids to the class, and you don't know that, you do how many and when. Perhaps um, parts of you already know. Tomorrow, our friend will talk about law regulation. I didn't, I didn't understand that because there was no information what are we supposed to do specifically. If the class are added kids, and we do not have a certain information, then what uh, should we prepare those kids to teach Polish for those kids? Or are we supposed to support them just in the process of being? I don't know. I don't know how you uh, react work over If there is too little time, too many deadlines, too little time, the first step undertaken in practice. For example, you finish your work at 8 o'clock in the evening. There is possibility that you can send this type of work for some time, but you need to change something. And now think a little bit about yourself, how your day look like. I was talking with my colleague in France, and we were lucky uh, of being uh, making tests. Because the classes and tests they're supposed to take home and check. So there was no free time. And there was one free hour, but the hour wasn't free. So their classes are going back home. And I still didn't do something when I was practicing in the Netherlands. The teachers, room, there were computers and everything, and you didn't pay any homework as a teacher 
home. You are supposed to eat, something, to relax, and to leave your work at work. It's very important. When you leave your work, close the door, you meet for five minutes, close everything, close every door. In the evening, you need to check is um, there any parent trying to contact you? If you have a password to the uh, to the communicator, and if you want to use the password, you can get their information every time of the night and day. We teachers are very, very necessary, but we do need to leave a special view for us, just for us. When there is routine coming into our work, I I remember when I was giving the same amount of five times and day. And to the first group, I couldn't finish with one and a half hours. And for the last time, I didn't know what to do after 45 minutes. And today, I don't know. I don't know if I managed to do that with the same um, level of knowledge. And if I won't find something that is fascinating for me in this game, I'll be a little bit like a machine. If at my work, we have a good relationship in between colleagues, we can talk, get support, get nice. But when I'm getting in the teacher's room and I'm hearing, well, you know, you are Chris again at our class. And um, I would like to answer, you know, I wasn't there during that class. Only you can tell me what was going on during that class. When I'm telling that I didn't manage to do something, and the person is responding, well, it happens, but did you try this and this? It means that I get support. But when someone is telling me, how could you not to do that? It doesn't. And if you cannot speak openly, or you cannot support, it's highly probable that you will stop talking. And at home, you need to be careful. There is husband, family, kids, because perhaps Stasio or Malvinka from your class why is it supposed to be more important than time for your own kid, for your own house or home? When we started to teach online, we started in a certain moment to mix words, words in between. So we took class, we need to isolate somehow from our own kids which had classes in the same moment or from um, our husband. First, once I remember that first great um, student told me Oh, Mrs. There is someone loudly talking uh, online English uh, there in your house. And I said, Oh, I'm sorry, but my husband's got an important conference and I cannot mute him. Anymore. 
and it is a very important element about which we should remember. Not talking about things that we um, cannot talk what was important, but I'm telling it's important to have a certain backup from the people which we do talk, colleagues, friends from work or out of work. If there is very reduced um, not teachers at school or kindergarten. Mm, there is no possibilities to, to make uh, small groups. Or if you work in a bigger field, certainly the smaller groups will come. And it's important for you to talk to someone to be able to talk with people about your own emotions and feelings, how you feel in a situation like. How can you reduce the risk of weather? First of all, formulate realistic goals and priorities. What is my goal? I do the plan. How do I want to achieve that? And how do I want to get to the plan? To learn, to plan, and to manage your time. It's very important. Next thing is positive thinking. I have to be careful about that positive thinking because there are so many understanding of that. If I'm talking about positive thinking, I mean, if I will settle some things, I will do. I will take some small steps, will work out. And this is positive thinking. It may be so that um, I'm sure you've been working on um, Management, management method. First time when I was working um, with the printer, that it came out, uh, I don't think that at all. I had to study how to do that because I had the tendency that I will be the best and no one will replace me. So when I then the project goals and the to realize, I gathered the group. I told them who should do what. And then I was told uh, who did the task and who didn't. And um, in that way, it occurred that I've realized all the tasks of the problem. And then I realized that I, I couldn't work in that method. And then I got the information. I should put uh, in order who is real. Uh, the task, and then when you the task to that person. And in that way, uh, the rate of delegating tasks. This is part about which we do need to remember. Sometimes we do need help and we do not ask about the help. And it's important when we do need it to be in a positive way is have hope and study continuously to have it. 
The next thing is take care of your supposed to do. This is like a list of the tasks I'm supposed to do. And um, in agreement um, I've signed, there was a point uh, all the uh, tasks from director. And then I started to consider, am I supposed to be able to say no to any of the tasks? And if you're realizing tasks which are not on your list of tasks, Tell it, be proud of that, and let it know to your director that you do that. This, he or she doesn't know yet, perhaps, but it's also about social team, your role. Social role being mother, father, teacher, social role of being psychologist, pedagogist. Today, when we live with my husband and we are on a holiday, I never, I never commit to a psychologist because I want to <laughs> but doctors they are in even worse situation because they cannot. Very important engagement, reasonable engagement. You know what is mania is depressive. Mania is great engagement. It's naturally bipolar, but if in life you engage in something and it starts to fulfill all the day, the person to having time for food or movement, uh, there will come the um, emotional breakdown in some moment. Engagement is uh, extreme, but there must be time to be there of yourself, of your, of your own. Time is extremely engaged in the taking care of self, of the diet and the movement. He will also break down, but what will break down is the relationship. Uh, what is important is balance. Balance must be whole. When I was introducing myself for the first time, I introduced myself in those three houses because this is the way of pursuing yourself mm, in talking about yourself, in talking about many different things with others with different worlds. If you're a teacher and your friends are teachers, uh, so the party at your house uh, is a didactic meeting of the people. Nevertheless, you think that it is a different, um, different house because meeting with your friend at your house is different. But if there is a situation that you want to deal with, so write down your goals. What are your goals? Grade them. 
pick which are the most important gray what, uh, what are your responsibilities and should you perhaps learn something to do that well, we want to the 50 hours of putting on the computers because I was afraid of a lot. My little grand kids are switching on it without any care. Uh, and very often they are changing something, but they know better. But when you can do something, Remember that the fear in your head that you are not able to do that is bigger than the lack of your own possibilities of doing that. And if you want to try, uh, Monday with Camilla, we were uh, holding a meeting, and today I've asked uh, Camilla to come in here just in case if I'll have the technical problems. And she was laughing. For so many times you've been sitting on the computer. And today I've managed to do that also. And this is this is also what uh, I call to appreciate your resources because very often we do not we do not see we really have and i was considering that the one time that we weren't able to to walk and go so does it mean that it's not an ability because we can do it now. So, to hear, analyze your time, your data, your financial needs. And if you feel overburdened with a list of obligations, think to whom you can delegate it. Mm -hmm. It's your stress ability. Once I was listening to a webinar, put both legs on the ground and breathe five minutes, breathe them out and think, I'm here now and I will take care of what is here now. I really like the grounding and connecting that was a hard meeting. You can always learn something new. Check which areas in your life you should take care of more. In which you feel good, in which you relax. Give yourself a permission to be in the because that gives you the feeling that it's more to deal with this stressful situation. Naturally, movement and good support of also. Remember to do things that you like more than the things that people are telling you to do. I would, now I would like to very much to, to tell you about the book who have uh, taken my cheese. The title is uh, Who Taken My Cheese? There are two tiny, tiny people. Ah, her names are Bojek and Zastałek. And uh, two mice, uh, Weiswind and the Nose. 
And uh, if I will tell you what is in, then my grandkids would say that I'm sending spam to you, but I won't do that. So the rice wind and the nose are mouses living in labyrinth. They are fed by cheese. And boya can just People living in accidentally walking in the labyrinth. They are all in the floor, found a huge store of medicine of cheese. And two mice, they were coming into that place and they were eating white cheese. And people, boy and Zastawek, they were taking off their clothes and shoes and they were taking shoes. Hmm. And they built their houses next to it. They were inviting friends to their houses. They were telling the cheese. I've earned that uh, cheese. And one day they came and there was no cheese there. So the mice took they shoes and they wanted to look for the cheese because they managed to notice earlier the cheese is rotten a little bit. And Boyek and Zastawek, they, uh, they were telling who dared to cook our cheese. And they were afraid that they will die from hunger. Boyek was so much afraid. And the second one was so stubborn that he was demanding to the chief black. And they were crushing walls in the labyrinth to keep who had stolen the cheese. And the one didn't know is he afraid more of dying of hunger of in the labyrinth. Not far away, meaning small pieces of cheese, and he was bringing um, those parts of cheese to his friend. And the friend was saying, I want what's in here. They're supposed to give me what was in here. Finally, he found the cheese he hadn't been eating never ever in his life. And he brought that part of cheese to his friend and he said, I don't want that cheese. This is not the one we've been eating. And then he was going back there. And he noticed that in a certain moment, he's not afraid of looking for that cheese. But those moments of looking give him the strength to look for. And once um, men found a new place with a great amount of new cheese and they met the nice thing which said that they are all the time checking the labyrinth where did they find the cheese 
And he found that hope that he was listening will might not come because he had the hope that a friend will come with a carriage to find a chief. But naturally, it's more beautifully um, told in that book. And sometimes it might be all our thoughts. How can we manage with it? And so be a teacher. Thank you. Very Recording much. stopped.